Ieta for not backing down on my daughter's teachers calling her the proper name? My daughter, Alexandra, 14F, hates any shortened version of her name. This has gone on since she was about 10. The family respects it and she's pretty good about advocating for herself should someone call her Lexi, Alex, etc. She also hates when people get her name wrong and just wants to be called Alexandra. She took Spanish in middle school. The teacher wanted to call all students by the Spanish version of their name, provided there was one. So, she tried to call Alexandra, Alejandra. Alexandra corrected her and the teacher respected it. She had the same teacher all three years of middle school, so it wasn't an issue. Now, she's in high school and is still taking Spanish. Once again, the new teacher announced if a student had a Spanish version of their name, she'd call them that. So, she called Alexandra, Alejandra. Alexandra corrected her but the teacher ignored her. My daughter came home upset after the second week. I am not the type of mom to write emails, but I felt I had to in this case. If matters, this teacher is not Hispanic herself, so this isn't a pronunciation issue. Her argument is if these kids ever went to a Spanish-speaking country, they'd be called by that name. I found this excuse a little weak as the middle school Spanish teacher actually was Hispanic who had come here from a Spanish-speaking country and she respected Alexandra's wishes. The teacher tried to dig her heels in, but I said if it wasn't that big a deal in her eyes that she calls her Alejandra. Why is it such a big deal to just call her Alexandra? Eventually, she gave in. Alexandra confirmed that her teacher is calling her by her proper name. My husband feels I blew this out of proportion and Alexandra could have sucked it up for a year. The school has three different Spanish teachers, so odds are she could get another one her sophomore year, Ieta? NTA My husband feels I blew this out of proportion and Alexandra could have sucked it up for a year she could have, but she shouldn't have to. Good for you for having your daughters back. Too bad your hub didn't. Her argument is if these kids ever went to a Spanish-speaking country, They'd be called by that name that's not true and quite stupid. John can be John in any country. No one would call him Hans, Juan or Giovanni against his will. Just because there is a local version of his name. NTA but the teacher's reasoning was off. If I went to a foreign country and told them my name was Anthony and they started calling me Antonio. I tell them it was Anthony and that's what they'd call me. It's different for a person who has worked hard to be called by their correct name to have it changed than for a person with a generic name. For example, someone named John goes through life with his name correctly pronounced and it's fun to be called Juan for an hour.